it was a train wreck, and I was asked to build tracks for it to go on <laughs> until the end of the Acon as fast accurate. as I could. Accurate. I, accurate. I, accurate. We don't have time to put into all of our hobbies uh, and work collectively and share everything that we started to do when, when we first came together four years ago. <laughs> so that being said, um, it breaks my heart specifically, like, like particularly because I was one of the founders and now we didn't even get to do our sequel and I don't know, I'm not, I'm not trying to sound sappy or, heart, or, um, or sad or anything, but like the f funny thing is about the tagline for Phantom Arts 2, um, what was it, the story is not over? Or um, all, all stories must come all to an end. All stories must come to an end. What's the tagline? Was the first tagline for Phantom Arts 2, because we didn't plan on doing anything beyond FH2 and even though that the production has not been fully realized, it still marks the end of Fandom Hearts and Fandom Musicals. The soundtrack as a whole. exists. Well, yes, the soundtrack exists, but I mean, like, no one will ever be able to see Connie's wicked impression of Zigbar. No one will ever be able to see or watch Scarlet perform Burn Baby. No one will ever have gotten to hear Devin embrace the darkness. That note, though. <laughs> that note, though. That was a breakthrough. So, unfortunately, Fandom Hearts 2 is not a fandom musicals project anymore. It is now it now fully belongs to me, and I'm going to do with it what I choose to do with it. I'm probably not going to do anything with it because I can't do it without any of the people that were involved initially, and I would not want to do it without any one of them. And I want to thank everyone for coming tonight, everyone who's been with us from the beginning, or anyone who joined us just today. You guys have helped make us, help us uh, get where we are, help support us, even if it was like a little bit, you come to one show or you come to all of our shows, just your very presence means a lot. And yeah, thank you. Thank you for being with us for however much time you were. Thank you for coming out tonight. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, everyone who would put any amount of work into bringing us where we are today. My only regret is that no one got to see Band of Hearts 2. In about 2012, um, we started working on the idea of a Kingdom Hearts musical, Tarif and I. And I'm, I'm fucking gonna cry right now, so just <laughs> give me a minute. In 2012, we started working on this musical, and I just wanted to talk about my mom very briefly because she was, thank you, my mom was the most supportive person that I had in my life and when she told me that she was diagnosed with breast cancer I said I have to fucking do this show and I started full-fledging working on it and Tarif joined me as well oh my god I'm gonna fucking cry and when towards like I think it was about two or three days before the auditions were gonna happen and I got a call that I needed to come immediately to the hospital, and that was the last few days that I got to spend with my mom, who didn't tell me how severe the breast cancer was, and that was the most devastating thing, was that, one, I'll never be able to um, hear her ever say like something like, wow, this is, this is a beautiful show, Tyler, or anything in the future, but I feel like I'm never gonna get that closure, and that was the worst possible part, so when she passed away, Tarif was probably the first person I talked to on the phone. And he said, do you even want to do this show anymore? And I said that I want to do it more than I ever wanted to before. And I took off of school and I took off of work. And within the next couple of weeks, we went to the auditions. And that's when I met just an entirely new group of people that I'm proud to call some of my best friends and even my boyfriend today. I love you, Tarif. <laughs> I have Thomas. Did you just dab your piece of garbage? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, um, this isn't a DC movie, man. Have some these, level shut the stuff. fuck up. I'm being emotional here. <laughs> Hashtag boyfriend. For those, that show was the most emotional thing in the world, and I was bawling my fucking eyes out right at the end when I was singing Never Stop Fighting for You, and now that you the story of why I wanted to work on Phantom Arts, I think you understand where that song came from even more. And 
it was funny because at the I had my cry out at the end of the show. So when the show was done, everyone was packing up and everyone was crying and Renee was crying the most for some reason. And all I was saying is, guys, we have to go, okay? There's a lot of shit in here. We have to pack up all our crap. And I just, I completely jumped into this, this other mood. And I think that yeah. Tarif, or Dora, sorry, was only... Was well, only one of those people who actually knew why I wanted to do Santa Hearts so bad. And it sucks that I wasn't able to bring Phantom Arts 2 to the stage because some of those songs, and I say some, were some of the best written things I've ever done in my life. And Good Guys Always Win and Rising are the two most fucking amazing songs that couldn't define me or Tora any better. And I was talking to Ellen earlier and she's like, are you sad? I'm like, no, I get to work on my comics and actually do my job. And now standing up here with people pointing their phones at me and holding Tora's hand, it's suddenly like all coming to me right now. And I, I just want to thank every single fucking person who's in this room or anybody who's ever that was terrifying just now. <laughs> Any single person has ever watched... Oh, okay. I thought that was a little bit something supernatural just there, but anyways. Um, I want to thank every single person who helped this ridiculous idea and all these ridiculous dreams come alive, and it's going to be... It's really sad to say goodbye tonight, but we always have to move on to bigger and better things, and that's... I, I, I can't make some kind of analogy or anything uh, about that, except just some things have to fall apart to make way for better things. And thank you, Ted Mosby from How I Made a Mother for that saying. Um, so thank you, every single person who's here. Thank you so much for the memories, for the friendships, for the loves that we had from this entire group. Thank you to the people who had to put up with us the most and my ridiculous antics, especially Natalie. <laughs> Thank you, and thank Con Bravo, and I, I wish I could say thank you to every single person, but we're running out of time. Um, but just thank you guys so much for everything you've done for Phantom Musicals, and that is the final farewell we'll give to this group. So thank you, everybody. Um, I have one last song that I want to play. It's a little bit fitting, and I think some people here might know it. Oh God! It kind of that. it kind of fits the theme of letting things go. Oh. <laughs> but it's also a pretty funny song because Set. we realize that a lot of pop songs all sound the same, <laughs> and this is one of our most watched YouTube videos and most requested recordings. But we never got a chance to record it, so I hope someone gets all their phones out to film this. Uh, and if you know the song, you should come up and sing it. This is a song called Let It Go, or These Songs All Sound the Same Anyways.